Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for being an electrica. I appreciate that. Now, I have uh, a finder uh, timer here. Okay, this is uh, one of the great timers uh, on the market. Uh, this is 85 series uh, 04. Okay, so there are very many, uh, there are like uh, three timers in 85 series. Okay. Okay, but uh, this is 8504. Uh, now there is 8503, there is 8502. Uh, okay, now this is a base. Bases are different. You can either go with this or you can go with this, whichever suits your, you know, configurations. Okay, now let us talk a little bit on these bases. So on the bases, you have got 14 uh, holes here, okay, because the relay has got 14 pins. So you have here uh, for power supply, and then you have here for common, and then the connecting contacts. So this base here, it has got, if you look at here, in, in, entire, uh, they are like 14 contacts, okay? So the contacts here, these contacts here are the common, okay? And then these two contacts are for your supply, A1, A2. And then the contacts right here are closed. These ones are open. So if you connect between here and these contacts, that will be normally closed. If you connect here and these contacts, that normally closed. Uh, same applies to this one. Uh, you have your supply here. And then you have your common contacts down here. Then you have uh, NC and this is NO. So this assist has been indicated NO, NC. Okay. But yeah, that's uh, there for you. So back on the timer itself. Now, this is the timer. It's very slim. Uh, very slim and durable. So you have your 14 pin here. Uh, these two pins are for supply, like I said earlier. And then you have uh, your common here. And then normally close, normally open. Okay. So, what's good about uh, this timer here is the variety of time scales. Okay. The time scales, uh, it has like seven time scales and also uh, five uh, functions. Okay. So, meaning you can use it in five ways and you have a variety of uh, scales on time here that you can set. Okay, so let us uh, look at that quickly. Now, when you're setting the, when you're setting the, now when you're setting the time scales, eh, uh, you have got seven of them, like I said earlier. So when you uh, you're setting time scales, there are, there are pins here up here. So you're seeing these pins are uh, from one to. You have pins there from one to five. Okay, so pin number one, two, three controls the time scales and then pin number four and five uh number four and five controls the functionality so as you're seeing on your screen okay so let me say for instance right now uh if i have if you see uh the first three pins are all uh looking up so that means i've set 0 0.05 to one seconds okay uh, now, for instance, if I want to to set like uh, five to a hundred hours, and maybe I need a time scale of uh, thirty hours, so this is what I will do. So I will have to set this one down. Uh, okay. So if you look at that, it means uh, one switch is down, the two switch are up, so that will be. Uh, zero to a hundred hours, but this dial helps me to scale down or scale up uh, the mode scale that I'm in. So if I need four hours, I put in 40, 30 hours, I put in 30, two hours, I put I mean uh, 20 hours, I put in two like that. Okay, so basically that's uh, what it is. So uh, seven uh, time scales. So you see uh, you have got uh, five to a hundred hours and so on and so forth okay so uh the other thing we can uh, look at is the contact the really in here is uh single pole double throw 
okay single pole would have three but the contacts are four so it is a four pole really in here so it means the, there are a lot of things you can connect and then the contacts are seven amps okay contacts are seven amps meaning if you have any uh, anything you're switching which is not more than seven amps uh the relay contacts can easily you know uh hold that okay the other thing also is uh the voltage this thing it has two voltages okay so i mean two voltage mode you can use dc and ac so no matter which voltage configuration you're in ac uh it goes all the 240 and then uh, dc 24 volts okay so how cool is that so uh the next thing we can look at the modes okay so here we have got uh five modes okay so we have on delay we have interval we have pulse delay we have uh, symmetrical and signal on pulse okay so i want us to wire that and then we see how each mode works <coughs> okay now we have our base ready so we have this really here it will act as uh, our load so we are able to see all these functionalities how, how how they work okay so now we are going to begin with on delay now on delay you know very well that uh, when you apply a voltage on this timer here uh it will delay to switch on this load so that means it will count the preset time when it elapses that's when it will switch on this so let us see that quickly okay so we have a timer here counting and then it has switched on the load okay ah yeah time is counting and then it switches on the load so that is the on delay that's one of the things you can use and then uh, the thing is the other thing that you you can look at is uh, if you look at number four and five all the knobs are down all the switches are looking down so that's the functionality of uh, of on delay so now I want us to go to to the interval okay now the interval we are going to change the switch so number four will remain down and then number five will go up okay okay so number four is number five is up and then number four is down same time so let us look at that function So if you look at the function uh, or the, the, the second function, which is interval, eh? the moment you apply voltage on, uh, on this base here or on the timer, eh? the, the load will energize instantly or immediately. Eh? But after the, pres the preset time, uh, the timer will reset. Okay, So that's a one-time thing. It, the, the, when you switch off and on again, immediately energizes and then it goes off okay so that is uh the interval and the later in the coming videos i will show you how uh, we can be you know applying those kind of functions in the real time circuits okay all right now uh, i want us to look at uh the next function okay now the next function will be uh, pulse delayed okay so we'll look at that now the next uh, the next function this is what we are going to do so we need to make sure that all the switches are we have to make sure that all the switches are up okay so you just push this switch here we push it up the time is the same okay and now we plug it in and then we see so our timer will count switch on 
and off. Okay? So th that's just a delayed uh, pulse. Okay? So when you switch on, the time I will count the time we've set, it will switch on the circuit and then it off. Okay? So uh, the time it stays on is 0 0.5 uh, seconds. Okay? So you set like two minutes, it will take two minutes to switch on the load, but now the load will stay on only for 0 0.5 seconds and then it will be off. Okay? And then it will reset. All right? Okay. So uh, let us look at uh, the fourth one, uh, which is called symmetrical uh, flasher. Now, let's see how that works. Okay, so on our knob here, now we have to move from the previous uh, function to, we have to move from the previous function to the next one. Now for that, we are going to make sure that number four stays up and number five goes down. Okay, so you see number five went down, number four uh, stayed up. So the same time set, Let's see how this one works. Okay, so you see that the, the time that we've set, the moment you switch on power to this timer, the load will come on and then the time is equal, okay? The time on and time off are equal. So if you have set like uh, two minutes, it will take two minutes to switch on the load and it will take two minutes to switch off the load, okay? So if you, you reduce this, you can see where you can apply this kind of function, okay? So it can also uh, happen to work like that. Okay, so this is this symmetrical flasher is the same as cyclic. Okay, it's the same as a cyclic function on other timers. Okay, but on this one it was called symmetrical. So, so I want us uh, to look at the last one. The last one now is called the signal on pulse. This is the same function uh, actually as uh, interval. Okay. All right, now uh, let's see how this uh, works. Now, the thing is, I'm going to press the start button. Okay, so I'll press this start button and then our load will uh, come on. But now the time I will start counting the preset time. Now, after it counts down that, it goes off, okay? So that's it. All right, now, I hope uh, that video has uh, helped. Uh, uh, if you have any question, you can still go to the comment section and uh, ask uh, anything you wish about this uh, timer here. Now, in the next video, I will... Uh, I will apply those functions to some circuits and then you see where you can use some of those functions, okay? Yeah, because uh, this uh, relay, it's a, it's a great relay. It's a great relay. It's more than other relay that, that we've seen uh, uh, before, okay? Now, if you need this kind of relay, please, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for you to, to check it out, okay? So thank you uh, very much for watching. I appreciate. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, I'm out.